The city of Westminster calls this a view you can drink. Stanley Lake supplies the water to all of its 115,000 residents. And this year, the glass is looking a little empty. So we are a little below average. So what your eyes are telling you, that's pretty accurate. Sarah Borgers is a water manager for the city of Westminster. She says Stanley's not as low as it was in the 2002 drought, but it's getting concerningly close. That's why the city has decided to issue what they call a drought watch. It doesn't require any mandatory restrictions. We use Drought Watch primarily as an awareness and education tool. Borgers says the city just wants to let the residents know that the reservoir is low, the snowpack at the headwaters of the Clear Creek River Basin is low, and the soil moisture in between is low. They're asking citizens to limit watering to three days a week or less, not to water during daylight hours, and to check their homes for leaks. She said this could get lifted if we have a very wet spring, but if not, they are preparing for a possible move to make mandatory restrictions for the summer. Westminster is also encouraging citizens to convert their yards into more water-friendly landscapes. Uh, customers can uh, tear out grass and we'll actually give them plant material to uh, replace it and give them all the education and tools they need to do that successfully. And we've got a lot of really cool programs like that. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, Nine News. If you're interested in converting your landscape, but you don't live in Westminster, Borger said you should check your utility because most offer similar programs.